Wow. Honestly, I seriously apologize for the break in transmission. I told you, our village, we have to climb trees. And uh, I don't want to go outside because I have to be, dis to be distracting and I'll be shouting or whatever. So I sincerely apologize for that. So from where we stopped from, I was explaining. When you get... I was, sorry, I really apologize for the break in transmission. You should bear with us that we're in the village. And uh, like I said, I used to say we need to climb trees sometimes before we can get our network. So welcome back. Now, what happened is that... Uh, so it, the the onions so when you get the onions when you get the onions to the house like i said you keep some you split it up you keep some uh you, you keep some you keep split it if you have 25 grams split it into five like i said the five gram you'll be having 1500 seeds which we support which is supposed to grow into onions for you so now with that you already have your onion so what you need to do now if you don't have space at the back of your house as in maybe if you've used everything you can look for sack there's something called sack because there's something we call gross sack black one if you cannot afford to buy gross sack just get all these cement bags or all these bags used bags wash them thoroughly why did I say you should wash them thoroughly? Because they might affect the soil. Wash these bags, all these uh, cement bags or other bags you can get, or even baco bag. Clean them very well. Then go look for soil. See, let me tell you, if you're looking for the soil to use, onions love a nutrient-rich soil. What's the nutrient-rich soil? Soil that, you know, those period when we were living in the village, when we used to throw those bean away outside, you know those bola. You know, you will see the soil, they'll be very dark, and uh, they'll be very dark in color and everything. Those are the kind of soil onion loves. Why did onion love this kind of soil? Because it's a bulb, it's producing a big size of something for you. So that is what it's going to be eating, that's what it's going to be feeding on. So what you can do, don't use, fr don't use one, don't use fresh manure, don't even use new manure for onion onion don't want you to go and get poultry waste and mix it with it no if you want to use onion with poultry waste or old manure you will have to mix it long time ago so that it will have really decomposed so you can't use fresh manure not even only fresh you can't even use dried one that you are just bringing for the onions now when you get the soil mix preferably that soil those soil that are very black in color dark in color they are nutrient rich or look for soil where there are plenty earthworms if you see soil where plenty of earthworms are moving they are the good soil don't kill those earthworms though pick them with the soil then put them in those bags now before you put them in the bags those bags give them a puncture you know as you make holes you can find seeds give them puncture puncture those bags as in put a dot on those bags the holes put a holes on those bags what are the purpose of the holes? The holes is for you so that when you put water, when you put the soil and you had water, if there's excess water, it can drain away from the bags. That's the essence. So those bags you want to use, punch them as in just find, uh, I don't know what you can, a sharp object. Punch. Don't punch that the soil will be wasting. Just punch. Just punch it so that when you put water inside, when you are wet, when you put the soil inside, if you over wet, the water can seep away through the holes underneath the sack. You have your, you have your bed where you want to plant already. So now, after you do that, the seed that you bring home, like I told you, there are plenty seed. You on the if you if you don't have a floor, make sure you, that your bag, or look for a flat space. You look for a flat space under your flat space. The soil must be thoroughly loosened. You know why? Bob, anything Bob, not even Bob, anything tuba, like tubers, uh, cassava tubers or yam tubers or onions, they need somewhere where they, will, uh, where they need to be digging into the soil. The fruit, the plants, the Bob will be going into the soil. The root will be going into the soil to bring so that they can form big, so they can big, uh, big bob for you so in that case what you need to do is you make the soil to be very loose you cannot use clay soil clay will not allow water to penetrate you cannot use sandy soil sand will allow too much water to rush away you know so the best bet like go look for soil that are dark and they are not sand and they are not sandy soil and they are not clay soil so that your water can maintain you can maintain the water level so now with this 
with this with this uh, arrangement that seed make some spaces on those beds and then sprinkle the seed the onion seed you have sprinkled it on it when you what i mean by sprinkle just spread small seed if you have 20 bags or 10 bags spread them little by little into those bags if you are using a, the soil directly, you have space at your backyard, so you don't need to use bags or anything. It's even a good one. So if you are not using bags, that soil, prepare the width, the width of the soil to be one meter wide. If the soil is one meter wide, the length could be any distance you have. Why did we make this, uh, the bed to be one meter wide? So that uh, you can stretch your hand from any side of the bed to the other side. And you won't have to be kneeling down on the bed or be stepping on the bed. You'll be able to stretch your hand from this corner to this corner to be able to get to the, to the plant. Now, with this, with this... You have you prepare your soil. Even the soil that you want to prepare must be losing. You know what I mean by losing? Use oh. Some people, you know, there's something they call garden fork in those days. If you know it, if you can make something like that. Lose the soil, as in bring the soil up, losing it very well. So when you're losing it very well, you can look for ashes when they burn charcoal and everything. Pour it, mix it with the soil. If you got like sawdust, if your soil is thick, it's hard, add little uh, not really sawdust. That one that is really very, that one that is really very tiny, I don't know, there's a name they call it. Mix it with the soil to loosen it up. So then on it, make lines there on the soil, if you are using directly on the soil. Make lines and give the space between the lines should be, just spread your finger. This space between the line, do something like this, something like this, and then make line on the beds. When you finish making the lines of the beds, then you place this onion one by one. Now, there's one thing. If you place the onion, if the onions are placed on top of each other, they will not survive because they will compete. One will be, uh, one will be stronger than the other and it will suppress the other one. So that is how you start your nursery. And like, you know, we did tomatoes the way we normally do tomato farm. So you just prepare your onion like you're preparing tomato farm. While the onion is there, you need to wait. You wait morning and evening for the next three to, for the next two weeks. After two weeks, the onion will come out at the end of six days, six, five, six days. You will have seen the onion coming out. Your onion will start coming out in four, five, in five, six days. By 10 days, your onion is not coming out. Forget it. You don't have onions. As in by nine, 10 days, your onion did not germinate. Forget it. That's why it's good to buy a bigger container of seed so that you can repeat the process again. Like if you have 10 grams, you repeat the process again. If you are in, since you are practicing, I won't advise you now to go and pra, to go and plant on a large basis for this one. Practice, practice first. So you you know, so if, the, if at the end of eight, nine days, your onion is not out, forget that onion, it's gone. So your onion should be onions germinate in the next five, six days. Four, five, six days, you should see the onion seed peeping out and coming out. And you keep wetting them. So you wet morning and evening. Because they are still at the tiny stage. By the time it's like two weeks, you reduce the wetting, reduce the water. Only wet once in a day. And preferably, you can make it the evening time. So, you reduce the wetting and you wet in a day. That system is called adne. You are preparing the onion for when you will not be wetting it every day again. And you will only need to wet it maybe twice, uh, twice or thrice in a week. So, it's called adne stage on the nursery. After four weeks... Your onion is matured. Your onion should be matured. Now, there's something on the onions. If you plant onion, it will start to bring, there's something, the leaf will branch into two spaces. It will start to bring different two spaces. You understand? So, you know it is ready for transplanting when it starts bringing those things. I don't know if I have the, if I can get network on the farm tomorrow, I might be able to just snap those stages the nursery stages to let you know like on the farm we have the one that is mature for transplanting and we have the one that is just struggling to come out that is not yet mature for transplanting so if i if i have the chance on the farm tomorrow and network i may be able to bring it out so that you can see what i'm explaining and then i think we should be nursing another one when we are doing that nursery i will tell one of my people there to take the video so that you can get it so now with that onions now at after four weeks like i told you you reduce the water to once a day after two weeks after that four weeks you now pick those onions they will have grown to about uh they should have been like 
uh they should like be like yeah let me i'm trying to just figure it i've never bothered about it okay this is a pen they should have been half of this pen taller than half of this pen as in half of this pen i'm holding half of the size yes after your two three weeks your onion should be something like like this half of this pen if you still want it to grow on the bed because if you leave it too long on the bed it will start to form bulbs on the bed that red side that front one is green the one that is coming out will be green leaf but once it you understand so you have to move it from the bed before it start forming the bulbs you understand which is about four weeks so your onion should be ready for transplanting between four and fifth weeks so when you now pick your onion uh, you now go like the bags you've prepared you know in your bags you have manure rich rich nutrient bulbs if you are using bag make sure the mouth is wide open don't fold the mouth if you fold the mouth it might open up and cover the onion so make sure you cut it possibly cut the bag into two two that sack cut it half so that you know it's, the bag is sitting there and can't fold to cover the seed so you now take the onion one one now on the bed, on the on the bags, what you can do on the bags, I'm trying to figure out how you can do that. What you can do, your bag, make sure if possible, look for a, a, a stick and measure 10 and design 10 centimeter. 10, 10, 10 squared. Uh -huh. Design 10, 10 squared meter. 10 length, 10 breadth. Make sure it's a square, like a square, you join it together and make a square. Then on the on the bed, on the in the bags you want to transplant that's the distance you should use each onion will be at the 10 10 meter 10 meter apart and 10 meter on a row you know what i mean 10 meter this way 10 meter that way so whatever the bags can contain is what you should put in the sack if you are using a normal soil you are not planting yours in a bag you are just planting on the floor your i told you your your bed should not be wider than like one meter wide so that when you are weeding it will not be too difficult for you if you have a very wide bed, you have to be stretching or kneeling down on the bed sometimes, which is not too good. So you have a one. So on the bed too, 10 meter distance, then 10 meter length, 10 meter the onion. So the onions should be. What I did on my farm is we design something, a roller or a punch that we used to at 10, 10 centimeter. Like I said, I pray I remember tomorrow. We have network on the farm. I might be able to pick the video. I may do the video so that you see those things I designed for the onion so you now use them and punch them at 10 10 centimeter distance because your onion cannot be bigger than that size you know what i mean so you plant you move the onion when you are moving the onion you make sure you wet the nozzle very well if the nozzle is not properly wet and you want to move the onion it will be cutting off if you take one it will cut and you know if the green one cut from the roots then you don't have onion again so for you to move the onion, you make sure you wet it very well so that when you are holding the plant, it will all come out. The soil will not be holding it back so that it will not cut. So you now move the onion into those holes you've made in your bags or on the bed, you are, on some the space at the backyard. Like I said, if you have 1,000, if you have 1,000 seeds, you transplant them 10, 10 centimeters. They don't take much space. Onion don't take much space. Like on a normal farm, if I'm planting on the farm, on my one bed, as in one row of bed that I designed for my farm, you will have 2,500 onion bulbs if they do very well. On a one bed that I have on my farm, you will have 2,500. So, and you don't need that much at home, except you have a big garden at the back of your house. So, now, your garden, if you are not, for sack people, you don't need to raise anything. The sack is already losing and it's raised up. For people that are using the normal soil, you need to till that soil and raise it to be about three centimeters high. As in, you will take, like I took the pen again. I'm sure this pen is almost three centimeters like this. So you take your, your a stick or a measure. That soil that you're losing, where you want to plant your onion, this, my pen, should be able to go in without force. As in, when I'm checking if the soil is losing this pen should go directly into the soil and then okay fine without oh i'm forcing it in no you don't have to force it in you just press it in it goes it means your soil is losing if your soil is not as losing as that level where you can just put stick inside and to go there please don't plant onion inside like i told you onion is a bulb if it gets across a thick soil it won't be able to go down again and you will have a smaller bulb. 
then when you are transplanting you don't need, you don't have to, you can't you don't need to trans you won't transplant deep if the transplant is the plant is like this your honey must not be as tall as this before you move it from the nursery i told you it should be half of this pen like 1.5 uh like yes like 1.5 this is like 30 centimeter like 15 centimeter your onion must not be the if it's as this big it will have been forming bob for me, that red one at the bottom, so it's not really good for you. So, if you now check, your soil must be very loose. So, you now move the onion into that soil one by one. Like I told you, that five gram seedlings that you bought is going to take, give you one, it's normally supposed to give you 1,500. But like I said, you make calculation for when you are nursery, some of the seeds will not germinate. When they grow up, some will die. When you are transplanting, some of them will die. When, so because of that, that 1,500, I don't work with 1,500. I will work with 500 onion. On, you understand? I, okay, I will just assume from my 5 gram, if I can get 500 to 1,000 seeds, seedling, survive, and be able to move that 500 to 1,000 to a normal bed, and they survive. You have one, That means you have 500 onion bulbs. As in counting one, one, one. You know, onion, we know, is add. There's some onion give you double, but most times they give one. Instead, they get big. Now, like I said, now you transplant your onion. When your onion is on the bed, when you move it from that nursery where they are choked up, you are moving it to the bed. You need to wet it. For the first day, you wet it very well. You wet it even twice. You wet it extensively. So that the onion is like a jebo picking. Or a child that you are moving from one place to another. I'm living in Agua Modi now. If you move me to another village and you didn't acclimatize me with what they are doing there, I may start getting sick. Most times when trainees come here, after some time, you tell they will tell they will, they will get sick because they are changing environment. So the same thing with the onions you are planting. If you move them and you don't take proper care of them, they will die even where you move them to. They will all die. So if you don't want them to die, you keep giving them enough water. At some point, when your onion have grown, uh, Onions mature, you know, already it has used for one month in the nursery. I told you, your onion should be ready for transplanting between four weeks and five weeks, which is four months. On the bed, on normal, when you move them to the bed, you keep continuously wet them. Now, the wetting on the bed, you can reduce to treat, depending on the sun, the area you are, the intensity of the sun in the area you are. So, you now start wetting them thrice in a week minimum give them water thrice in a week and give intensive water i already told you you punch the the base of your bag so that if you have excess water the water can seep away and you won't have to be waterlogging the onion won't get waterlogged but like i said it's not every onion like it's not every onion that you can plant in rainy season you know it's not every onion seed that will survive tropical you know we have different climate onion choose climate or oh, yes we just plant some onion if i plant the onion that is meant for rainy season if i plant it in dry season that onion will just be growing and growing and eventually go to seed it will produce seed yes and you won't get anything from you it will grow to seed it will not give you bob so you have to plant the right onion the right the seed the right seed like i remember uh this guy that uh, my my seed sellers gave me a book that have all the variety of onions and the months when you plant them and when you will harvest. I think they dashed me that about two years ago. I still have the book. When some of my students come, I used to give them, go study this. And so you understand onion is not every onion you can plant in rainy season. It's not every, but they, you can plant onion. The point of bringing this video is you can plant onions all year round. In, and you can plant onion in every community in Nigeria. Yes. You can plant onion in the south. Okay, recently, one of my trainees is working somewhere in the south and they nursed onion. Though the challenge that told me is that, okay, they couldn't, they didn't transplant on time because of the rain and every other thing. You can plant onion in the south-south, in the southwest. And now that they, they, they are declaring not bringing onions and everything, I think this is the best time for you to just go right back home. Plant the one you will eat. You don't really need to, you understand? You can even dedicate it to your children. You can dedicate it to the people in the house. After It's only the nursery stage that is a bit tedious. After the nursery stage and you're able to move some into the, into the, to the, not, into the main permanent space, you wet them thrice per, three times in a week. Give them intensive water. And you'll be, fine, you'll be surprised. After, three, after two months, not even up to two months, one month in the nursery, if they did very well and they're fast, 
one month after you find out that they will start developing when you transplant them you start, after a month they start bringing in that red bulb the better the more water you have to eat or if you cannot get dried poultry waste on the farm where the uh, where the onion is sprinkle it dried one don't notice i mentioned dried poultry waste why the onion is growing you can that dried one looks almost it's like powdered you can sprinkle it on the onion belt and wet intensively the onion will it will support the onion to produce bigger bulbs for you you, sp you know the time they are producing bulbs wet it add extra and wet it intensively so eventually by the end of three months one month in the nursery one month to grow to something and then the next third month you have your onion bulbs but now the other thing when you have your onion bulbs you see those bulbs those red ones the one we eat you know it will be all having the green leaves which is those people that buy spring onions the green leaves fresh leaf will still be there after three months but you already have your bulb the red one is there so when the red one is there well, now if you want to eat it fresh if you are the type that hits the bulb the that hit the fresh one that green one that green people that do salad and everything that spring onion you can start harvesting and eating but if you are the type that you want to store it you want to preserve it for the next six months four months five months you want to keep it at home you and your family you have to leave it on the place to dry you will not harvest it it will stay like another extra month to dry that green one that green fresh one will be drying up and be turning to brown color it is when that red, green, and the green leaves that first came out will be turned into brown color. So at some stage, it will, it will first start bending down. As it's bending down, you know your onion is mature. You can harvest it fresh. You can heat it. But if you want to leave it to dry, you want to preserve it, that green one will start drying up. Even if it's a rainy season, it will still dry it up. It cannot stop its season. One season is complete. So once that one is drying up, you can now cut. It's fully dried up. You uproot the onions, cut that that up one cut it up and dry it in the sun dry it for as much as possible so that that place where you cut that off if you don't dry it properly that's where it will start decaying or getting spoiled that's place where you cut off the green one that dried off if you don't allow it to dry properly it will that's the stage they call curing you allow it to dry it's called curing so it is after this curing you can store your onion i remember the onion we planted last year we planted it around uh, June, July, August last year in the Guam, in Shaki, in Agramodu. We planted it and we harvested by December. I think we started selling by December, though it was not fully dry. So we were selling with the fresh, the leaf, the fresh and everything. It was after, as I'm speaking with you, we still have it on the farm. My boys are still using it. Actually, it will have even stay longer than that. My boys bring it out one day. They were helping me to dry and they left the rain to beat it. So what I'm telling you, so these are simple steps to plant your onion. You don't need much drama. Now, for those that would like to go into it on a large scale or whatever, you now we need, like now there's one major thing I, didn't, I did not mention, which is good, weeding the onion. Now, you know your onions is closely knitted. As in, imagine planting something at 10, 10 centimeter. You will need to keep weeding like every three, three weeks. That's the major challenge. That is the obstacle. That's what I see that can discourage you. But if you don't have plenty, it's in your backyard. Your children will learn from it and they can be playing with it. So you have to continuously weed. And you know it's close knitted. You can't use chemicals. There's no chemicals you can use to weed it. There's nothing. What I did in my place here, for people that have been to my farm, we fabricated a, 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 a kind of small O. That hole, you just put it instead of using ant to ant pick. Because if you ant pick, ant picking something grow fast back. So that hole, we now use it to, to, to move the weed in between the onions. I specifically designed it. It's a small, tiny hole like this. I can show the sample maybe tomorrow or when next I'm doing a class like this. So you can use it to weed the onion instead of ant picking. So, and you be careful because as you are weeding, once the bulb is out and you are weeding, if some of the bulbs are getting... And if you eat the hole or the bulbs, they might start decaying from there because they are not they won't be able to dry it up. So you weed and weed the onions. That's the major problem of growing onion. Actually, I thought that's why people don't grow onions because the weeding might be a base. And for people that have felt okay, look, I can afford instead, you can do mulching. There's 
natural mulching and there's plastic mulch. Like for my farm, for this season of onion, my boys are, we are planning to plant a large scale because we target to sell in December. So because we are planning to plant a large scale, and I told them, look, this weeding, hmm, it's really, it's, I pity those boys the way they weed all the time. So we are, I have some part of mulching film, the plastic mulch. So we'll be using it for like 10, we'll be using the mulch for like 10 beds, as in to cover 10 beds, to reduce weeding. But the remaining beds, now we now use manual to weed it. So these are the ways you can grow your onions. And I hope some people have learned here. You can send me your questions after the class. I will attend to it or you look forward to joining me in another time. Then I also have a book. For those that want to go commercially or even you want to grow, or you don't, you, there are some things you don't pick up here and everything. I have is an, a, an e book I prepared. It's just, I said, the book is 2000 era, but you know, it's worth more than what you expect. I've done, I've written the book sometimes. People have been buying it. And uh, I think I was forced to write it when I discover people don't even know onion have seed. Most people in the South, South, Southwest, we don't know that onions have seed. So you can grow your onion by the seed. So if you want the book, you can contact me to get the book. It's an e-book, right? But believe me, you know the way I put my books. It's not much. It's just a short one because right now, even right now, I'm writing on irrigation. The best method of irrigation and how you can you know the best method of irrigation and then the cost somebody actually people have been asking me what will it cost me to set up an acre of irrigation so i'm putting it i've even finished it's just to do some finishing touches and everything so that people can have access to it because there's a lot you need to gradually change so many things in the farming system so thank you for joining me and uh I think I hope I've been able to synthesize somebody. So don't let we don't need to let somebody give us some attention. Grow onions in your backyard. If you are looking for onion seed, you can get across to me. For now, I want to advise. See, onion seeds are various. We have the hybrid, we have the local breed, eh, not local, we have the open pollinated, we have the hybrid, and so the prices varies. But for a start, for beginners, please, I will say go for the smaller one. Use it to practice. But for people that want to go on a commercial scale, yeah, you can consider. You should also even practice before going for the hybrid. No. Because if you don't practice or you don't understand how to grow it and you buy expensive seed and you use it and you don't get anything, you'll be wasting money, you'll be wasting time, you'll be wasting resources. So I would still advise you should practice with a smaller one first. So thank you for joining me and catching some other time again. You know? A community we don't so some any questions i will attend to it after the class just put it there i will attend to it thank you